This morning, we're exploring how Queen Elizabeth is putting her stamp on the four-day party for her Platinum Jubilee underway through the weekend. But she has not been able to attend every event. She withdrew from a family church service in her honor this morning. As Mark Phillips reflects more and more, the 96-year-old is doing things her way. It seems queens get cut a little slack in their golden years. This queen, not as steady on her feet as she used to be, has been selective in choosing which events she'll attend during this jubilee period and with whom she'll be seen. If a new train line named after her needs opening, she'll get a ticket to ride. She likes trains. If a horse show in her honor is going on next door, she'll show up with a smile. She likes horses. But if a long ceremonial procession is required to open a session of Parliament, she'll let one of the kids do it. My Lord, pray be seated. And if another of her children is in a state of public disgrace, that won't stop her from insisting that Prince Andrew escort her at the memorial service for Prince Philip last March. Andrew may insist he's innocent, but he's been airbrushed from the royal story because of his friendship with child sex criminal Jeffrey Epstein. These days, the queen does what she wants, according to her biographer, Robert Hardman. Is it her saying, wait, you know, wait a minute, you know, I'm the 96-year-old here. If I want my son to help me to my seat, I'll just... It's taken until her 10th decade, but I think we are starting to see her being a bit more like the rest of us and saying, you know what, I think I'll do that, but I won't do that. And after a lifetime of duty, why not let Elizabeth be Elizabeth? It seems the least her grateful <laughs> subjects can do. It's a crutch. The British can't manage without it. And maybe that's true. Robert Lacey has chronicled British royalty in more than 20 books. We in Britain try to divorce our patriotic feelings from the political process. We have to think that's, that's quite healthy. Um, and we fixed it on this lady who has risen to the occasion so well. Yet any career that lasts that long is bound to have hit a few bumps. When, in 1992, part of her Windsor Castle home burnt down and three of her children's marriages collapsed, including Charles and Diana's, the Queen dropped her usual stoicism and admitted it had been a horrible year. It has turned out to be an annus horribilis. When Diana died, the Queen badly misread the National Room before finally acknowledging the public's grief. And lately, faced with allegations of palace racism from Prince Harry's American wife, Meghan Markle, the Queen had to watch them leave for a non-royal life in California. And that's not even counting the scandal of Andrew. Somehow, though, she's kept calm and carried on. She worked hard. She repaired what she'd done wrong. 1997, Diana died. In 2002, everybody's out in the streets again for the Golden Jubilee, cheering the Queen. So how'd she do it? She did it by listening. She's believed in herself. And because she's believed in herself, because she's believed in her institution, the ridiculous business of wearing a crown on your head and people curtsying to you, but she's absolutely believed that that is an important part of Britain um, and its wider family around the world, the English-speaking world. Um, and um, th that's why she has more than survived. There's even a theory around here that Queen Elizabeth has served the monarchy too well, that she may be, especially for a son like Prince Charles and all the baggage he brings, she may be too hard an act to follow. For CBS Mornings, Mark Phillips, London. Yeah, can you mm. imagine following in your mother's, not only your her footsteps, but it's your mother's footsteps right. and all that come with that because she is so beloved and so respected. Those are very big shoes. Yeah. Yeah. She served too well. That's a strong yeah. statement. All those years, all those decades, all those events, always the black purse. Yes. Always the little black, black, black shoes. purse and, and black, black shoes. shoes. That's yeah. what she always wears, despite all the color. But she comes from the school of never explain, never complain. That's mm. why you don't ever really know what she's thinking, because wouldn't she be the interview to get? Oh my I don't God. think if she did one, she I think she would choose a British 
uh, reporter. It, seem, yeah. it seems like that philosophy works. Yeah, it, right? it does work. It's worked very right. well for her.